Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to create an envelope from scratch using this handy tool called an envelope punch board. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna use this cool yellow paper because you know it's my favorite color, but you can use any paper that you like. I love um, doing a watercolor design or painting on something or even printing out a really cool design and then making an envelope out of that. All right, so like I said, the only tool you need is this envelope punch board. You're also gonna need a bone folder, which you typically can get um, pretty easily with this punch board or you can get them on Amazon and stuff. Of course, I will have everything linked for you below some slightly different versions of this might be easier to find this exact version is only available at Michael's paper. It really doesn't matter. You might have better luck as far as the folding with a thinner piece of paper, um, but I also like using cardstock and doing a thicker one. A lot of you asked me how we put our invitations together as well as how we charge for putting things together, um, what our assembly levels are for our clients. So we put together a comprehensive guide to show you all the tips and tricks we use as well as extra information about how we charge for assembly, what order the card should go in, what etiquette says about assembly, and how we deal with our clients throughout this process. So if it's before May 1st, you can pre-order the invitation assembly guide at the link below. If, it, if it's after May 1st, you can go ahead and purchase that at the link in the description of this video. So I hope you enjoy all the tips and tricks about how we assemble invitations, how we're most productive, and how to save you a ton of time and money during that process. So what you're gonna see on here are three numbers, which is the card size, the paper size, and the score line. So let's start with paper size since I'm using an eight and a half by 11, so you can see it all really well. I'm just gonna go with this eight by eight. It's gonna create an envelope for a three and a half by six card. So I could then make a card that size to fit in it. Or if you already have a card, like if you have five by seven envelope, which is a typical size we use, then you could just go with a nine and a half by nine and a half piece of paper. So what I have to do first is cut this down to eight by eight. So let's do that. Now I've got our eight by eight piece of paper and our board. And we remember that when we looked over here, we also had this score line. Ours says three and one eighth. So we're gonna use that. So what you do is just put the edge of the paper at whatever that score line says. So three and an eighth. And then you start by punching. What that does is it creates a little notch for your envelope to fold. So make sure we're back at three and an eighth. And then you take this, the bone folder and you score starting with this line. So on this particular one, I'm gonna start over here since I can't really get that score line with this really thick paper. This is why you might have a little better luck if you use thinner paper because then you can pick up the score line up here. And as you can see, there we go. I made a cool little score line there. Then what you do is you actually just turn this envelope and you line this called score guide up with the score that you just did. And go ahead, bunch again, and score again. Wahoo! Try to get really far in there if you can. If you need to re-line it up and get all the way in there, it's actually pretty helpful if you can get that score to go all the way. So I'll go ahead and do that here as well. Perfect. So we were right here, and then you just keep going. So you're gonna line that guy up. This one, in theory, should go back to your three and an eighth. Looks pretty good. Punch. Score, get all the way up in there. And then one more, and if you pay attention, this one should line up with the same one that your second one did. So it's a, it should be symmetrical for the most part. And there are things on here for square envelopes, which will be slightly different. They'll be more symmetrical on all four sides. But this is more of your traditional shape. So now you have, all four of these guys, and then if you want the envelope corners to be rounded, you can do that here. I'll just go ahead and do it because it looks nice. I don't always do that. It looks a little bit more professional. All right, we are officially done with this guy. We've got all of our little babies over here. And then you can just 
fold one in, fold this guy in, and then you want to glue these guys down. So I'm going to use what's called the ATG glider, which I'll link for you below as well. Go ahead. And there you have your envelope. How cute is that? So like I said, with cardstock, you're going to have a little bit more trouble folding. Um, so for this one, you might want to use this ATG gun to glue it down. But if you have thinner paper, it'll be a little bit easier and you could use a glue stick or you could even just put a sticker right here. Now let me know what you think of this video. I'm going to put all the tools mm -hmm. back out here for you. Got our envelope punch board is the name of this. The advanced tape glider is the name of this. And the name of this is a bone folder. Let us know what you thought of this video. And if you're going to make any envelopes yourself, we'd love to see pictures of them. We hope you enjoy such a fun little project. And the possibilities with this are really, really endless. So have so much fun creating your envelopes. And leave us a comment and subscribe to our channel and click that little bell button so that you don't miss any future videos. They launch every Thursday and I can't wait to see you next week. Thanks everyone.